What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time that you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a fourth year medical student and biomedical science graduate studying King's College London. And in this video, I'll be talking to you guys about exactly why I stopped taking notes in medical school. Let's go ahead and get started. So taking notes is something that we all do in medical school and university. And don't get me wrong, it has its place. I used to take notes for probably the last five, six years of university. I love it so much. But there comes a point where taking notes doesn't necessarily add to um, you know, your productivity and your memorization and learning of your work. So first off, you know, what is notes? Why do we take notes? For me personally, writing down notes is taking a concept I've learned in a lecture or somewhere in university and translating it into something that I personally understand myself, not just for myself today, but also for my future self. And I mainly use writing notes for learning new concepts and understanding new concepts. And the key word there being understanding. Making notes is absolutely amazing when you want to understand a concept to really break it down step by step, write it in, you know, words that you understand and for your future self will understand when your future self does come back to actually trying to revise for that exam and it'll be a lot easier when you have you know a written document containing all of the information that you need to learn right now in a way that you understand it. So making my own notes and writing my own notes by hand or on my laptop is something that I did for my whole entire biomedical science degree and also for the last three years of medical school and if you want to check out all of my notes that I made uh, to get through my exams go ahead over to my website and check that out um, but actually starting my fourth year medical school all of that has changed and in the majority of cases now, I've completely stopped taking notes and I've moved over to making flashcards, which has really increased my knowledge retention and my memory retention of everything I need to learn for my final exams in medical school. And the reason for that is in my fourth and fifth year of medical school, the majority of what we learn is purely now based on memorization. There is little to no kind of understanding. Uh, by now, having done my first three years, my preclinical years of medicine, which took a lot of understanding of the physiology and pathophysiology of the human body, that was mainly, you know, understanding concepts. But now my fourth and fifth year, I should really have a good grasp of all of the, you know, kind of understanding the big broad concepts of um, the human body and disease. Whereas now we're moving more on to treatment, investigations, and also uh, kind of examinations uh, of the human body. And because all I'm learning really now is, you know, mainly treatments and management of uh, diseases, the majority of all of that is all based on memorizing the facts that you need to know. For example, my preclinical years, we had to learn things like asthma. We had to learn how the body normally works with breathing and what goes wrong in asthma you know, what is the pathophysiology of asthma, what receptors, you know, line your uh, your trachea, all of those things. So I'd personally make these beautiful notes with, you know, loads of pictures on them that will really break down the concept of asthma and help my future self to understand asthma very, very quickly because it's in a format and, you know, it's in, in words that I personally understand and I can understand in the future when I do come back to reviewing my notes for the actual exam. Whereas now in my clinical years, of course, we still have asthma, you know, everywhere in our lectures and also in our exams, but it's not really about understanding Understanding the you know physiology and the pathophysiology of asthma. It's more about understanding you know what investigations we need to, to do to make a diagnosis, what examinations we need to do, and finally how do we treat it in a stepwise approach. So before I learned maybe you know one or two methods about how to treat asthma, whereas now I need to know the exact you know step by step process of how we treat asthma. You know starting off with the very basic things, all the way down to the final more difficult things if a patient doesn't respond to therapy. And as you can tell, all of that is unfortunately or fortunately um, based on a pure memorization. And that's why making notes right now would not really help my future self to understand the concept. All I have to do in the future when I want to revise for and study for that final exam will be to read a list and I can just you know put that in my memory rather than actually needing to translate it in a way that I understand. And also now, you know, almost becoming a doctor, it's not really about understanding the broad concepts. And of course, you know, having a good, you know, scientific basis and knowledge of all of the pathophysiology of the human body is important. But what's really more important now is knowing the detail, knowing the specifics. So what drug would I, you know, give a patient in this condition? What contraindications are there to providing this patient with these medications? There's so much detail that I now need to make sure that I know. It's not just an understanding, you know, broad concepts, which is quite easy if you have a good set of notes that you understand. It's more about the specifics and again, to do with memorization. And that's another reason that I've now moved towards uh, flashcards. Because of that, there is so much information that always needs to be, you know, on my mind. Even if I'm in pediatrics, I still need to know some general medicine, to know some gastroenterology. You know, there's so many, different concepts I need to know at all times, no matter the specialty that I'm currently in in the hospital. So if I were to try and learn all of these specific facts, keeping them in my memory every single day would require me to go through literally reading all of my notes every single day, testing myself on my notes every single day, which will literally be, I'll probably have to go through a whole entire folder of notes to make sure that's always constantly on my mind. Whereas if I use flashcards, the great thing about flashcards like Anki flashcards is that it will constantly remind me of the things that I need to know. You know, the really impressive algorithm system that 
that um, Anki flashcards has means that the things that you're more likely to get, the things that you mark, you know, more difficult to remember will come up more often and will make sure that every single day, if I go through my Anki flashcards, I will theoretically be able to retain all of this information, you know, at any given time throughout my career as a doctor. And that's why I've now moved towards flashcards. If you guys want to learn more about how to write notes in university and also how to study for your exams, then I highly recommend you check out my mate Ali Abdal's course on how to study for exams on Skillshare, who are also kindly sponsoring this video. If you guys haven't heard it yet, Skillshare is an online learning platform and community for learning new skills. They have thousands of videos on, you know, not just how to study for exams, but also, you know, art, uh, videography, cinematography, literally anything you can imagine, any sort of skill you want to learn, Skillshare definitely has it. I've actually been using Skillshare for about one year now, and I've loaded so much to the point where I've actually made my own Skillshare class, which you can access for free with a trial down below. The class I made on Skillshare is all about how to write a first class essay. So if you're in university and you want to learn more about how to score those top marks in your essays, then I highly recommend you go check out my class on Skillshare. As I mentioned, my mate Ali Abdal has a really good course on there as well on how to study for exams. I spent a lot of time watching that and also the class on how to be more productive. So if you'd like to check out his class as well and my class on Skillshare, I definitely recommend you at least sign up for the trial. And the first 1,000 people to click on the link down below will get a free trial access to Skillshare. And my recommendation will be to at least sign up for the trial, check out Ali's classes on there, check out my class as well, watch them all for free with the trial. And if you decide that Skillshare adds enough value to your life, as it definitely has done for me, then the monthly cost of Skillshare is less than $10 a month on the annual subscription, which for me is absolutely worth it. But enough about Skillshare, let's head back to the video. If you guys want more information on how I use Anki flashcards to actually learn my work, learn all the theory of medicine, go ahead and check out that video on that concept. But I will probably stop here, guys. I just want to talk to you guys briefly about why, you know, starting fourth year in the last couple of months, I found making notes completely redundant, completely, you know, useless at this stage in my medical career. I hope this has given you some food for thought about maybe how you may want to adapt your learning style one day if you're, you know, in your early years of medical school, or maybe if you're already in your final years of medical school. I hope it's helped you guys out. If it has, please make sure you're subscribed. Make sure to turn notifications on to stay up to date whenever I'm posting. Drop the video a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.